thank, thank you, President. Um, yes, and I'd rise briefly to speak to Mr Grimley's motion. And, you know, I think it's, it's interesting having this motion coming off the back of uh, the debate that we held yesterday, which really talked about the very pointy end of sex crimes. And, you know, I know I said yesterday that the way, how do we, how do we reduce sex crimes? Well, we stop people committing them. And that changes culture. And I know Mr Grimley mentioned this in, in his introduction, introductory remarks to this, um, to this motion. Um, and, and it's true, you know, you know and, and like many, many people in this room, um, you know, I've experienced sexual assault and I didn't report it. Um, I've written about it. I've, I've talked about it. I've been public about it. But I didn't go to the police. I, and, and as a young woman, I didn't think that, um, you know, I felt that shame. I felt all of those things. And so I understand, um, you know, I, I understand that we do have these cultural issues around this and that we do see underreporting. And then even when someone reports it, the difficulty of that that going forward and attitudes do need to change. And as Mr. Grimley said, you know, listening to that police officer on that radio station, when some when someone's first question is, what was she doing out there? And the question is, why were those people um, raping a young woman? That was the question. It wasn't what she was doing there. And that was the same question for me, although I know I questioned what I, you know, could I have done something to change those circumstances? So I agree that this needs to change. Um, my concern with this is, and, and the reason that I'm, 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 I'm troubled with this, but I, I, I can't actually support this motion, is I feel that what we're seeing here is a backdoor, a Trojan horse to a national public register for sex offenders. Now, I have no doubt, and I, and I look forward to hearing Mr Grimley assure me that this is not what he is um, saying, and, and like him, I am passionate on reducing sex offending. But even seeing um, Mr Hinch in social media, when we t even talk about things like sex offender information inquiries, Mr Hinch's response to that is, that's why we need a public register. And I don't support that. I don't believe that sex that public registers, and, and this is a, a difference of opinion. Um, I, 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 I appreciate that. I, I also believe that there is um, very good empirical da data that says that public registers do not reduce offending. In fact, they increase it. They increase recidivism. They, make, they actually make things more dangerous for us. Um, and I really feel that in, in the way that this is mentioned, and I know um, uh, I, I appreciate Mr O'Donoghue's amendments to this. I appreciate that Mr Grimley did um, let us know that while this information would be centralised, public avail and publicly available, it would be um, it would be uh, anonymous and it would be um, it would be made anonymous. And I, I, I accept that, but I still feel that this is, um, this is a, a Trojan horse and it is, it is, um, it is a thinly veiled access to a, a public sex offender register um, that is something that I, I actually passionately, passionately oppose. I want things to change and I want things to change it, you know, in so many ways, not just for myself, but for my nieces, for my daughters, for my granddaughters. Um, I want our culture to change. I don't want those questions of what was she doing there? Why was she there? Uh, why were they there being the question? The question is, why did that person do it? That is the question our community should be asking. And that is the question, and that is what we need to be changing. So I'm, 
I, I take some comfort that we are seeing that the, the Victorian Law Reform Commission is investigating this, is doing this work, and will be looking at the impacts of the changes that we've made to, of, of, to legislation. And frankly, that the changes that we have made have not improved the statistics, have not improved where we are at, have not improved the number of will, women who, or women and men who will come forward and report a sexual assault. And that even once they report it, will continue to pursue that sexual assault. So I, I, I have a lot of sympathy with this, um, this motion. I, as I say, I am, I am really pleased to see the law reforms work on this. And I feel that the work that the Law Reform Commission will be doing on this will actually meet some of the, um, some of the, the, the calls that, that this motion asks for, that we look at why it's not working, why our system does not work for the victims of sexual assault. And it was a conversation that we all had passionately and, and, and respectfully, which was, um, which was very pleasing to see, to the most part, respectfully yesterday around the victims. And yesterday was about letting them speak. Today, today we're, dis we're discussing about if, if we were to take this on its face value, we were to discuss how we learn more. And I think this is what the Victorian Law Reform Commission will do. It will, um, it will do the, the work that, um, that, that Mr Grimley is asking for the government to do. I, but just finally, if I do also say that I find that in the inquiries that I have been involved in, whether it's end of life choices inquiry, whether it's reducing the age of driving to 17, the data that we have, the crime stats that we have are inadequate. We do not have the data. Every time we go to the police to ask for data, it's just not there. Um, and I certainly think that there is an issue in data collection. And I certainly think that we, we don't have that, we have not got that right. And we need to, we need to do that. I, I look at the, um, the terms of reference for the VLRC's inquiry into improving the response of the justice system to sex offences. And I see that that is actually part of their terms of reference. So unfortunately, I can't support the motion today, but I hope that, um, that I live to the day that, we, that sex offending is rare and reported 100%.